Willie Mo Jr. here. This past week, I was at the BMI Trailblazers honoree, and your boy was looking a little snazzy. I'ma keep it 100 with you. My wife shut him down. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Flat out. So the first weekend of the year, I was out in LA doing celebration of gospel, so I missed my son first basketball game. Wasn't too happy about that, but you do what you gotta do. All week long, he kept bringing it up. Daddy, you missed the basketball game. I said, son, you see them lights on? Daddy had to make sure them stayed on, so I had to go to work, flat out. But I promised him the next week that I would be at his game. And I don't break no promises with my kids, flat out. Later on that Friday, they told me, Willie Mo Jr., you gotta be at the BMI's about six o'clock. But Saturday morning, I get a phone call. Hello, you need me to be there about 2.15. Uh, I can't be there at 2.15. Why? You can't ask me why. It's Saturday. Nah, but I got a basketball game with my son. I'm not gonna disappoint him. So I'll be there as soon as the game is over. Did you notice I put my little bill collector voice on? Flat out. The whole time in the game, I'm looking at my son, turned up. Get him, son! Shoot! Do your thing. Every time I look down in my phone, I see 13 missed calls. Really? My manager's on the phone. And he pissed. I'm like, bro, calm down. What they say? And then what you say? Then what they say? Hey, look. Everybody calm down. I'm on my way right now. Come to find out. Everybody mad because I'm late. But I explained to everybody on Friday that I can't do nothing to after three on Saturday. So? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Bro, I ain't finna let my son down. I gave my word to my seven-year-old. Flat out. I finally get to the BMI Awards, and I tell you, we had a really, really great time. Not only was I the voice, like the MC Light, Big Tigger at the award show, they had hired some comedian dude, but they weren't really feeling the comedian like they were supposed to at all. So, Willie Mo Jr. to the rescue, flat out. You say, Willie Mo Jr., what does this story have to do with me? I'm so glad you asked. See, family, you too have businesses that can sometimes overrule your family. But, bro, you got to realize that when it comes to kids, you're leaving a legacy. And the last thing you want your children to do is to be mad at the job and the work that you do that you say is for them. Maybe you didn't get a chance to grow with your father. And every time you looked in the stands and didn't see him there, it hurt you. And to this day, you may be walking around with a mortal wound just because you didn't get the support from your parents that you thought you should. Should. No matter how successful you start to become, don't ever give up the time that you've allocated for your family. What I've learned is opportunities come and go, but family lasts forever. Family, I know that this year is your year to go out there and get it. But uh, make sure that you allocate time for your family because after God, that's the most important thing. Family. Remember, your gift is making room for you. You got to be responsible for your family. Flat out. Family, make sure you share this video with about 10 people and log on to WillieMoreJr.org and make sure you tune in to the national syndicated inspirational show, the WillieMoreJr.com. And pick up a Young Flying Save t-shirt, support the little ministry. See you next week. Well, the